Hey everybody! Today I want to show you my conveyor belt intersection using randomness. So to show you how it works, let's put one stack of coal in this chest and as the items go through the hopper conveyor belt, they will get divided in two parts, one going in this direction and one going in that direction. And as it's configured right now, it should give us in each output chest around half a stack of coal but it's fully flexible and I'll show you how later in the video so now all the items have gone through the hopper conveyor belt let's see the output chests here we have a little less than a half a stack of coal and here we have a little more than a half a stack of coal But before heading on the tutorial, let's see how the random number generator works. You may know that in a hopper, when you have a stackable item, such as a piece of wool, it only emits a signal of 1, whereas if you have a non-stackable item, such as a wooden sword, it emits a signal of 3. And we're using that property to create our random number generator. Here we have a dropper with a non-stackable item and a stackable item, and the hopper facing the dropper. And every time we fire the dropper, one item randomly goes into the hopper and directly back to the dropper. That way it creates a random pulse, given the property we just saw and the randomness of the dropper. But if we hook that up to a two-tick clock, we don't get a random pulse, but a random constant output because by the time the item in the hopper goes back into the dropper, the dropper fires back another item. It can be the same or a different one, but still there is always an item in the hopper and it creates a constant output, still random, and we're using that constant output to create our intersection. Just like if you toss a coin, you will get around half the time a tail, in this design, the random number generator will output around half the time a non-stackable item. And when it outputs a non-stackable item, this hopper behind this block gets locked and the items go straight into this chest. Otherwise, if it's a stackable item, the items go into the other chest. So that means around half the time, the items will go in this direction and around half the time they will go in that direction. But as it's based on randomness, it's not 100% accurate, but most of the time it's fairly reliable. Let's see a real example with the furnace room. Imagine you have your input chest with your coal and you want them to go in your furnace room, but you want to keep some of them to make torches. Now with this intersection, as we just saw, you can but maybe you don't want to waste half of your coal to make torches and you want most of them to go in your furnace room. Let's say you only need one piece of coal out of eight to make torches. Now with this design, as it's really flexible, you can. Just remember that in our random number generator, if it outputs a non-stackable item, the pieces of coal will go in the top chest and if it's a stackable item, they will go in the bottom chest. So what if we just add a non-stackable item in the random number generator. It will output a non-stackable item twice as often as a stackable item. And that means in the top chest, we will get around two pieces of coal out of three, whereas we will get only one out of three in the bottom chest. If we continue and put another non-stackable item, in the top chest, we will get around three items out of four and in the bottom chest we will get one out of four and so on until one out of nine but what if on the contrary we want most of them to go in your in our main storage and some of them to go in your furnace room now you can do the very same but with stackable item just add some stackable items with different types and that in that example only one out of four will go in this 
chest and three out of four will go in this chest and we can combine these two ideas just by putting some stackable items and some non-stackable items and in this example two around two pieces of coal out of five will go in this top chest and three out of five will go in this bottom chest let's see it working with this more complicated example uh, we will put five stack of stacks of coal in this chest and we'll see it running so let's check the output chests here we have a little less than two stacks of coal and in the other chest we have a little more than three stacks of coal now let's build this let's put two output chests like so and some hoppers on the side this will be our main hopper conveyor belt with an input chest on top of the first hopper then we're gonna put a dropper and a hopper facing the dropper this will be our random number generator with a comparator going out of the hopper and the block in front of it now let's put a redstone comparator going on the side of the first comparator and a furnace here then we're gonna put a redstone comparator going out of the first hopper and we're gonna build our two tick clock so let's put a block in front of the comparator with the redstone dust below it and some blocks like so and finally enough slab next to the furnace with some redstone dust like so and a repeater here with one tick delay and finally let's put 14 items in the furnace that will emit a redstone signal strength of 2 and let's put some stackable items and non-stackable items in the random number generator and there you go you have your hopper conveyor belt intersection if you have any trouble while extending your hopper conveyor belt where both of the items go into the hopper and in your random number generator it's due to this hopper where the items flicker and the way you can correct this is by breaking this hopper and put a chest on top of this hopper with some items in it and that way it should correct itself then you can break this chest and put back your hopper and there you go it's working okay so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time